Today we're going to talk about using uh, Synergy to create quotes, uh, to co help convert quotes, to create orders, uh, and to get some different statuses and, and information. So what we're going to do is we are going to start um, by pulling up a customer. And I'm going to pull customer 901 because I know there's a lot of activity. And what I want to do is I kind of want to focus on the monitor section, specifically uh, this EM orders right here. So what I'm going to do, I'll click that. And this is a really great screen <clears throat> because here it gives me all the information about uh, the current open orders, uh, historically posted orders and invoices, credit memos, and, uh, and things of that nature. So it does a really good job on giving me all this data in regard to this customer number 901. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and create two quotes. Now, it's important uh, to note that I am not uh, logged in to the back office. I'm not logged into uh, the network where my cola is stored. I'm actually coming through, um, through the internet uh, pulling um, uh, Synergy up, pulling this information, and I'm going to go ahead and click this button here, which is my quote button. So I'm going to go ahead and create a quote for this particular customer. Uh, my payment condition will be a 30 day, net 30, and I'll click on save, and it takes me to the line item screen, which then I can select from the list of possible line items. Now these line items, uh, these items that are available through Synergy, I can uh, identify um, what items are allowable um, to either quote or to put onto to an order, and, uh, and that's all done through the interconnect module. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just select uh, some of these uh, large t-shirts. Maybe I'll select uh, 10 for now as a quote. And, uh, and I can do Save New, which will take me to the next slide item, um, and continue that. Or I can just click on Save, and that will end it. So I'll click on Save here. And now I've got uh, quote number 81 now available to me. Now, the next thing we want to do, of course, is we probably want to print this quote. So what we're going to do here is we're going to click the Printable button right here. And if I click this, it gives me an option of uh, to basically print a quote form. And here it is. Now at this point I can print it, I can save it as a PDF, I can do all sorts of different things with it, and, uh, and uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to uh, I'll print it. I can save it as a PDF. at which point I can uh, then email it to the customer uh, or do whatever else I'd like to with it. All right, so that's printing now. Just takes a minute. I'm saving it as a PDF. There you go. <clears throat> okay, so there's my PDF that is now printed uh, right here. So I can close this. I can now do whatever I want with that PDF. Um, and now what I want to do is I want to uh, get out of this this particular order. And maybe what I'm going to do next is is go ahead and create maybe a new a new quote. So I'm going to do another new quote. This will be number 82. Again, changing my payment terms. Uh, I can click on, uh, on uh, uh, Save. Um, also here, there's a nice uh, area here, the award probability of this quote. It's set to warm. And maybe I can show this during another session. Uh, but this is really a, a nice feature as well. Uh, I'm going to say Save. And I'm going to take me back to the line items. I'm going to pick a few line items this time. Maybe I'll do uh, <clears throat> 10 of these. Save a new. 
maybe I'll pick uh, ten of those. Save and new. Uh, and maybe ten of these. Save. All right. So that takes me. Now I've created two quotes: quote number eighty-one and quote number eighty-two. Now if I go back to that customer screen <clears throat> and I click on the uh, this EM orders button under the monitor section, I'll see that I've got quotes number 81 and quotes number 82 generated. Okay, And of course I, I can print uh, the quotes, uh, the form for both and send it out like I always do. Now. I want to take you through the next part of, of generating, basically changing a quote from an order, and, uh, and and again, all through Synergy. And the first thing what I'm going to do is I'll take this quote number 81 and say, you know what, uh, this is, uh, we're going to promote this. We're going to change this to an order. Okay, so what the promote button does is it actually uh, generates a, a workflow uh, to the person that is responsible in the back office to do the convert basically the process from converting a quote to an order. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to click the promote button and that's been done. So that's that process is done. Now if I go back to my home page, I've currently got <clears throat> the workflow set up to generate that quote or I'm sorry that uh, uh, promotion request to me. So what would happen is it like I said it generates a, a workflow request and I'm going to click in it so that you can see what it looks like. So it was created by myself, and it's going to whomever is responsible for uh, converting that quote on the back office from a quote to an order. And uh, it says, please convert this quote to an order in the back office. And it's quote number 81. All right, so that's how it's done. Uh, I would then, um, like I said, go into the back office, McCullough system, take that uh, quote number 81 and just convert it back to an order. As soon as I did that, um, we could actually create a, uh, another step here that once this is realized, it goes back to the creator saying it's been done. In addition, uh, if the person that uh, once it's done, they could log into Synergy and see the status change from a quote to an order. So that's how that's, that's, how that's realized. So now I'm going to go back into the account. Take a look at these orders again right here. And the opposite of promotion is losing that order, right? So let's go back into this order number 82 and rather than promote it, let's say we lost it. So I can click this button here, lost sale. Now this operates precisely the same way that McCullough's back office lost sale operates, okay? So if I click the lost sale button, put in my lost sale code, you know, and I could put in the note why why the order was lost, and then click on lost sale. The note that uh, that order now is is disappeared from the system. All right. All right, super. Now, what I want to do is take you through the creation of an order. So again, I'm back from the monitor section. I'm just going into, um, if I take a look at the customer card again, back into the EM orders. This is a really key area right here to remember. And instead of clicking new quote, I'm going to click new order. And the process is 100% precisely the same as generating uh, a quote except it's, it's not a Q type, it's now an O type, okay? Click on save, takes me back to the new line. At this point, I can pick, a, pick an item, go with some smalls. So we say 10 of these and say, click on save. And now I just created order number 607. I can do the same thing, I can print this. Uh, I can print this order just like I did the quote and then send it uh, on its way to where it has to go. All right, super. Now, 
I want to take you to another very uh, great feature all about quotes and orders within uh, within Synergy. And that's actually located on the interconnect screen. Now I've got a, uh, it saved right here, uh, which will take me right there. But what another way to do it is from modules, uh, from interconnect. Make sure this says reports right there. And click on orders slash sales reports. All right. Now, this, I'm going to focus on open orders, open quotes, and the advanced order search. Okay, so say that in Synergy, um, there's a, an opportunity where you want to just be able to create all kinds of, you know, you want a, a URL, a link, maybe on your home page that can uh, create new quotes and new orders, not necessarily customer specific. So in other words, you don't want to go into that customer 901 like you saw me doing. You just kind of want it blanked out so that you know you click the button, you select the customer, and you go on your way. One one URL will do the whole thing. The way to do that is with a favorite, and I'll say, show you how to do that. So you click on uh, here. You'll click on open orders. And of course, this shows you all your open orders in the system, not specific to one customer, but throughout the entire system. What we can do here now, notice there's a new quotes and a new order button. Remember, it's also not specific. So if I click on new quote, note that the account is no longer filled in, right? So all I need to do to, do, to save this is I click the favorites button, which is right here. So if I click that, it's going to say, hey, where do I want to save this? And I'm going to say, save this under my category called demo and call it new quote, like so, and then say OK. There. Now I'm going to do the same thing now I'm going to do the same thing for order. I want to create a new order right on my home page. So I'm going to click on new order. Note it's not specific to a customer. I'm going to click on save the favorite. I'll call it new order put it under the same category as the as the other say okay and now if I go to my home page you know note that I've got new orders and new quotes capability so if, if I want to come in and create a new order I just click here and bam I can uh, go ahead and, and enter that brand new order by selecting now I have to now of course select the uh, the customer all right now there's something else I wanted to show you here as well there's a say that um, you don't know what the uh, the customer is, but you know what the order number is, and, and is there an easy way? Of course, you can do it in Macola, right? But what happens if you don't have Macola and you're on the road, uh, you have internet, you have Synergy, but you want to find an order, you might want to find a quote, you might want to find some information, and and how do you do that? Well, what you do is you go to that same place, the interconnect, which I have a, a, a favorite save for that, and what we've done, we kind of focused on open orders activity here. But what I want to do is I want to take you over to this search area where it says advanced order search right here. This is a really key. And what I like to do is I like to actually always, just about always anyway, put this as a favorite on my home page. Note, see how uh, if I click it, see how detailed I can search and drill down into. I can search by open. Uh, orders, historical, quotes, you know, pretty much you name it, I can search on it. So what I want to do again is, is save this uh, again to my favorites. Advanced order search, great, great name. Make sure I store it under my same category and click OK. There. Now it's saved. If I go back to my home page, there's my advanced order search. I usually like to have this and this and this all together um, in my on my home page so that I can now create new orders, I can create new quotes, and I can search for both and anything I like. So let's take take you through a step. Let's see if we can see if we can find one. Take a look at uh, quotes in the system. And here they all are. <clears throat> so at this point, um, I can change my page size to maybe a little bit uh, a little bit greater number. I can zero in my search if I like, but I can pick one of these one of these order numbers and then take a look at it. 
and drill down. I can reprint um, the, uh, the quote. I can reprint the order form. Uh, I can reprint the invoice. Okay? Uh, I can promote. I can do all these things that uh, you saw before. And uh, all right, so lost sales. We, we created a couple, uh, I should say just a single lost sale. There's other lost sales in the system. But lost sales, uh, lost sale code is actually recorded in McCola through standard McCola you know, back office reports. But Synergy also has a section, and this is again under the interconnect uh, order sales reports, uh, has a section on lost sale, which is really interesting. So if you look at the, the last 60 days lost sale, um, you'll see this number 82. This is the one I just recently did. And if we click it, order number 82, you know, here's the notes of why it was lost right here. So right there. So if we go back, there's another pretty interesting report here. Um, lost sale by month, year to date. So if I click this, it gives me a really neat little uh, um, chart that shows by month, um, what the lost sale values were, the total amounts, um, using what the lost sales code. Okay, you'll note that I used code 100 uh, to put this lost sale code in. I think there might be two here. Yep, there's two lost sales here, using that code number 100. And it also gives me a report by month. So there's $420 in lost sales uh, for so far for the month of September. Um, you can also, of course, there's lots of filtering here that you can do as well, which is uh, pretty nice. You can look at the history and also open, and also by di different by division. So that's it. I uh, hope, uh, hope you enjoy it. Thanks.